All right, now to the coronavirus in Maryland. Numbers keep climbing. For 19 straight days, we've seen at least 1,000 new cases in the state as the positivity rate hovers around 7%. Now, ahead of Thanksgiving, the state is cracking down on enforcing COVID restrictions. Governor Hogan announced an all-hands-on-deck operation in partnership with Maryland State Police starting Thanksgiving Eve with visible patrol statewide. Additional state troopers will be assigned in every single county to work in partnership with county leaders, county health departments, liquor boards, licensing and permitting departments, as well as municipal and county law enforcement agencies to investigate any reports of violations of state law. The governor also announced the state is launching a 24-7 hotline for people to give tips about violations. And tomorrow at 5 p.m., the state will send out an alert to all cell phones reminding people to stay safe. The governor also wants to warn people once again to stay local and not travel for the upcoming holiday. County Executive Johnny Olszewski also joined in on the governor's latest briefing. Amy Kawada with reaction from community members on the latest announcements. For the past 19 consecutive days, Baltimore County has recorded record-breaking numbers. And over the past month, the positivity rate has increased by 185%. I want our residents to hear us loud and clear. The situation is dire. Officials are urging the public to stay vigilant, especially as we head into the holiday season. I guess we're listening like as best as we can. In efforts to curb the spread of the virus, Baltimore County has built a robust social distancing task force. The goal is not only to ensure state and local orders are fully enforced, but also to educate the public. Officials say over 7,000 inspections have been conducted in the county. It definitely does make me feel safe when I do go out. Starting Thanksgiving Eve, the governor says high visibility compliance units will be deployed to popular downtown areas in the state, including Towson, Bel Air, and Silver Spring, meaning ramped up efforts with additional law enforcement agencies to make sure protocols are being followed. Restaurants like Charles Village Pub and Patio in Towson are relieved restrictions on bars and restaurants. Restaurants remain the same, but say the staff is prepared for any situation. The biggest concern would be that we would go back to just straight carry out. In Baltimore City, you can also expect these high visibility units in Fells Point. Residents like Randall Bean says now more than ever, we must take this virus seriously. Just hope that everybody just follows the protocol strictly so that we can get over this within a month to six weeks. And officials say this will be an all hands on deck situation. And again, starting Thanksgiving Eve, enforcement efforts will be ramped up and compliance checks will begin. For WJZ, I'm Amy Kawada. Coronavirus hitting the Ravens again just days before a primetime game in Pittsburgh. Running backs Mark Ingram and J.K. Dobbins test positive. And defensive lineman Brandon Williams was traced as a close contact. So he too goes into quarantine. Those three will not play Thanksgiving night. The Ravens shut down their team facility when they first got word of the positive test, but the Owings Mills complex was reopened yesterday for meetings and a team walkthrough. The players say they will rally together to overcome this latest challenge. Howard County is also adding more restrictions starting this Friday at 5 p.m. Only up to 10 people at a time will be allowed to gather indoors. Outdoors, limit is 25 people. However, this doesn't include retail stores, restaurants, religious gatherings, and theaters. County Executive Calvin Ball also wants people to cancel their Thanksgiving travel plans if they haven't done so already.